Now, let us determine the moment of inertia for a rectangle area shown. So, ito yung pinaka-first sample problem ko sa inertia. So, dalawa na. With respect to A, the centroidal axis. Uh, respect to X, centroidal axis. And letter B, uh, the axis at the base of X of P. So, recall lang tayo. Ano ba ang formula ng inertia? Inertia is simply, with respect to X, inertia with respect to X, simply the upper limit and lower limit, Y squared, DA. Yung isa naman, pag with respect to y-axis, kung magro-rotate sa y-axis, may upper limit, lower limit. Ito naman will be x squared DA. But for now, hindi natin kailangan itong IY. Okay? So, pinakita ko lang. Review lang tayo. Okay. So, remember that pag may bar, ibig sabihin centroid and axis yan. So, continue tayo. Paano ngayon ang upper limit ng y? So, ito yung y natin, no? So, yung upper limit mo will be from here to here. So, that will be h over 2. Ang lower limit mo, from here, ito yung basihan natin. Okay? From here, base to here, pababa, that will be negative. Kasi, uh, below 0, no? So, nasa centroid. So, this one is uh, the upper y and the lower, or positive value ng y and the negative value ng y, kaya negative h over 2. Obviously, alam naman natin na ang centroid na ng rectangle is right at the middle, no? At the center. So, y squared, yan ang equation. Wala kang bago yan. Ngayon, kukunin natin to. Atong DA. Ano ba yan? Derivative area. Ito na yung derivative area, oh, given na. This one. Yan na area. Area strip ang ginamit natin. So, mas convenient ako pag-solve nito instead of using this type of derivative area, no? Yung ganyan, yung square. So, gusto ko yung strict method. So, now, paano lang area nyan? Just the length times the thickness. Ang length mo will now be from here to here. That will be b over 2 plus b over 2. So, total of b. Diba? So, ang area mo, yung da will be b times the thickness, this one, dy. Okay? Hindi ko nalalagay yung, ano, no, yung fine. Uh, it's just a notation. Okay, so, yun yung area ng strip mo. ba? The area of the strip is just the length times the thickness. Okay. Now, ma-integrate na ba natin yan? Uh, I believe so. No? Kasi B is, it has a constant value. no? So, B from the top up to here all the way to the bottom, constant yung kanyang B. So, pwede mo ilabas yan, B. Since that is constant, I'm just writing down the upper and lower limit. So, y squared dy. So, with that, diretso ko na lang dito. No? With that, here, pwede na natin i-integrate, correct? So, ano ba yung y squared pag-integrate mo? So, y cubed over 3. So, yan na. Upper limit h over 2, lower limit negative h over 2. So, kunin lang natin using uh, algebra, no? Or ito, d over 3, lipat ko na lang sa labas. So, ano yung y cube ng upper limit? So, yung y cube is h cube or h over 2 raised to 3 minus the lower limit, yung y, it's h over 2 or negative h over 2 raised to 3. And simplifying, it's just equal to 1 over 12b h cubed. So, yan yung equation na kapag kukunin mo yung uh, inertia with respect to the centroid, ah, with respect to the centroid, then the inertia at the centroidal axis x will be 1 over 12b h cubed. Okay, how about if we want to know, the second question is, how about if we want to know the inertia with respect to the base? Okay? Uh, so, I'll just copy it here. Para hindi na pa angat baba, angat baba. And then with respect to base, letter B, no? yun, yun yung so-solve din natin ngayon. Ayaw nga lang mabura. 
Yun. So, imbis na bumubura, ayaw. So, sandali lang. Let me pause for a while. Naayos yung pag- Okay. So, letter B. It's now I x with respect to the base, no? So, ngayon, ganun pa rin, y squared dA. The main difference is that ang upper limit mo ngayon will be here all the way here. So, walang negative. So, ibig sabihin, h to 0. Mas madali, di ba? Yan yung distance mo ng y na being covered eh, from here to here. Ito ngayon yung y na natin. Okay? So, don't be misled by the picture. Ito ngayon yung y. So, ito yung base na pinag ang binabase natin. So, palagi na ako nagtapat yung y dun sa uh, base being considered. Okay? So, ano yung upper limit ng y? Again, h, ang lower limit nyo will be 0 na. Okay? So, again, just y squared Ano ngayon yung area? It's still the same. B times dy. So, mas mabilis. Just, uh, ilalagay mo lang yung B outside. So, integrate mo na. Kasi y squared dy. Pwede mo na integrate. Just y cubed over 3. Up lower limit. 0. Upper limit is h. So, it's now. Again, B over 3. Parang hindi lang ako nalilito. So, this will now be h cubed minus 0 raised to 3. So, ano na? Tapos na. As simple as that, it's or 1 third b h cubed. I hope you learned something. Uh, it's very easy for now. Then, the next problem will be a triangle. Okay, thank you for watching.